Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't posted in about three weeks, I think, and that is because I gave birth. Um, we named our son Elijah and he is the sweetest little guy ever and I've just been really, really tired and trying to catch up on sleep and get as much rest as I could. So that's why I haven't been posting or uploading anything but um, I finally feel like I have my energy back, so I decided to record a video. Um, so today's video is going to be about my hoarding problem. So I have this thing where I will buy a bunch of makeup and then I won't ever touch it. Oh, sorry. That's like... There you go. And I won't ever touch it, so I'll just kind of throw it in a box. Um, you see me like do hauls of it or post pictures of it on Instagram or something, but it never gets used or it gets swatched and then it just gets thrown in the box. So a lot of this is, you can see like I have a huge, I have an Ulta box full of just products and um, some of it is from BoxyCharm, some of it is what I purchased, ooh I almost fell. Some of it is what I purchased by myself. So there's probably going to be two parts to this video because I just have a bunch of stuff stuffed in that box. So yeah, let's just get right into this video. Oh, another thing I also forgot to mention is I'm going to be doing like a little series thing. You will see that in my next video. I'll be explaining everything in the next video. I know I was going to do the robe views video, but... Um, I don't have a lot of robes. I only have two, to be honest. So robe views is kind of pushed aside. But this next um, series that I really want to start um, will be awesome. And I hope that you guys do like the new series that I come up with. So let's just dive right into the box. I'm just going to grab and pull. I will let you guys know if it was from BoxyCharm, if I remember if it was from BoxyCharm or not. So yeah. And then I also will be swatching everything that... I pull out that I can swatch. So this first thing here is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in You Light Me Up. If it wants to focus. There you go. In you Light Me Up. And I've taken a picture of it before, but I never swatched it. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute, super pretty. And, oh my gosh. The product itself is gorgeous. So it's like a 3D, um, it's like three-dimensional, kind of comes out of the pan. And it has a nice design. And then here's a swatch of this. So there's a swatch of that on my finger. I'm just going to show you guys on the hand. So it's just a really, really pretty gold reflected highlighter. Up next is, I see a whole bunch of BoxyCharm stuff stuffed on top. So all these are from BoxyCharm. The first one here is the brand Luxie. This is three brushes. Okay, so here are what the brushes look like. This one is the 522 Tapered Highlighter. Um, it's a little bit too big for me, in my opinion, for a highlighter. Maybe like a blush brush. I'll probably use it for like a blush brush. And then this one right here is the 660 Precision Foundation. And again, this one is just too flimsy, too fluffy for foundation, in my opinion. So... This would be like a really nice dusting off your powder or something like that. And then the last brush here is the 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush. And this one, the brush, can you see that? Like the brush is kind of messed up, but whatever. Um, these brushes are really, really soft and fluffy and I cannot wait to use these. Here is another set of brushes. These are the Alamar brushes. It's super cute. I like the green handle with the rose gold metal plating, so you say. 
it just comes, I'm not going to take it out, so it comes with a, um, what is it, like a blending brush, a shader brush, and then a flat liner brush. This next item right here is the brand Baddington Lashes. This is their Monroe 3D Silk Lash. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, it looks like lashes you could get from the dollar store. And this was probably like $16. And then this right here is the House of Lash Lashes in Bambi. And this is what the style looks like. It's a little bit too spaced out for my liking. I have here the Dr. Brent Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. This is a pore purifying mask. I've been getting into hair care and skin care lately, so I can't wait to try this out. I have two more lashes. Um, the packaging's kind of jacked up because my kids got to it before. Ooh. My kids got to it before I could get to it. So I had a third one, but I already used it up and threw it out. So this first one is Yamaya, and this is what it looks like, just some really pretty natural lashes. And then this other one here is Ziva, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is what these ones look like, they're just a little bit more, um... here, let me take it out. They're just a little bit more glammed than Yamaya. So that is these lashes. I do have a 15% off code. I will leave the code somewhere on the screen for you guys. And also I will leave it down in the description if you guys want to purchase some of these lashes. They are really, really good quality lashes. I could get about five to six uses out of them before I toss them out. All right, I have some more BoxyCharm things. So this one right here is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. This is for your hair. So pretty much what you do is you just spray it in your hair after you get out of the shower with your damp hair and you leave it in and it's supposed to make your hair feel amazing. So I can't wait to try this. I've been using the Not Your Mother's brand and I love it. So I can't wait to try this one out once I run out of the Not Your Mother's one because I'm running really, really low on those, on that one. And this one right here is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Um, this is what the wand looks like. I'm not a huge fan of the wand, but hopefully the formula is good. The wand looks just really clustered. So we'll see how I feel about that. Then this right here is the Pure Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. So it comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. And to be honest, um, the bronzer, let me take that film off. The bronzer is just really, really shimmery. I don't know what I would use that for. Maybe like eyeshadow. The highlighter looks really, really pretty and the blush looks really, really pretty. But the blush also is a... Um, more shimmer so i'll probably use it like as a blush topper but let me show you some swatches so that's what it looks like on my hands and then here is the blush the highlight and the bronzer they're super pretty it kind of reminds me of um neapolitan ice cream <laughs> Then I have here the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I have been in need of new setting spray. I'm running really low on my go-to, so yay, new setting spray. And then this right here is the Revlon Colorstay Full Cover Foundation in 220 Natural Beige. And I really hope that it is my shade. I'm like kind of... A weird color right now I'm not my winter shade I'm not my summer shade I'm not even my fall shade like I don't know what shade I am right now but let's just take it out I really hope that it's not like a moussey consistency because this is a matte foundation mm, it is kind of moussey so that's what the foundation looks like it does look really really full coverage though not gonna lie And it looks kind of pinky undertoned. We'll see. Yeah, like that looks kind of pinky undertone. I 
I don't know. We'll make it work somehow. Some more BoxyCharm stuff. This is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the color Blossom. It's just a really, really pretty um, mauve berry color. Swatch that right here. That's what this one looks like. Super pretty. And then here I have the Adesi New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. I don't know what shade it is. It doesn't say on the box what color it is. But this is what it looks like. It's just a really, really, really pretty um, natural brown nude. And let me swatch that right here for you guys. It has a really, really flimsy wand. I don't like that. And it feels like it's not going to dry down, even though it says that it's a matte lipstick. Liquid lipstick. I think it's matte. No, it doesn't say anything about matte. Maybe it's a gloss. I don't know. Up next, I have here the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I also got this from BoxyCharm. And... You can never have enough primers, honestly. And then this right here is the Jante Blue Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Charcoal. I'm not a huge fan of charcoal, like brown or light gray, gray eyeliners. I'm more of just give me black, give me nude, or give me white. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll like it. It doesn't really look that gray, so... It looks like a off black. That's pretty much gray, but whatever. Who's judging me? <laughs> and then this right here you saw in one of my previous hauls, which is the NYX Eyebrow Gel Waterproof Long Lasting Smudge Proof. Um, it's, it comes in a little tube, and hopefully I like it. It's in the shade black, but the packaging looks like it's brown. Oh, but it came out black. That's nice. All right, then this right here is the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Makeup Primer. This is the hydrating one, and I don't, I've, I don't really see a lot of people using this, so I wanted to try it out myself to see if I like it. Um, since in the winter time, I do get pretty dry, so. Maybe this will help my dryness during the winter. So this is the primer down here and I really hope it's not silicone because I'm not a huge fan of like silicone primers. No, it's not, but it really smooths out the skin. It just feels like a nice protecting layer on the skin. Like, that's nice. Okay. I feel you, Laura Geller. Next up right here is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Everybody loves this. I've never tried it, so I got the deluxe size, I believe. Like, it's not the full size. Like, it's a travel-friendly one. This is only one fluid ounce. So I got this to try it out to see if I like it or not. Next up are the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Collab Liquid Lipsticks that I showed you guys in my previous videos. Um, I'm not going to swatch these. You can go check out that video. I'll leave the link down below and up in the cards for you guys. This side. <laughs> I'll leave it up in the card if you want to check it out, see the swatches that I have. But I will read to you guys the shades and show you guys the colors. So this one right here is Revere. This is a satin lip. And is a really, really pretty orangey, almost red color. Next up is Dreamy. This one is... I don't know what color. <laughs> it's a really pretty pink nude. And this is also a satin lip. This one right here is Moonchild. It is a gloss. And I don't know if the camera is really picking up, but it has like little gold flecks of sparkle in there. It's a really, really pretty gloss. You guys are probably going to be hearing TV in the background. Sorry about that. And then this one right here is Aquarius. This is the set and lip again. And this is what the color looks like.
This next one here is November and this one is more of a pink. Um, it's not nude, it's just a really nice pretty light pink color. The last one here is 0, .0 and this one is a straight up brown nude neutral satin lip. Moving along, I have two foundations to show you guys. This one here is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in golden beige. I really, really hope that this is my correct shade. If not, it will be my summer shade. It looks a little bit dark, so let's see. Ooh, that was hot. Oops. So this is what it looks like. Um, you know what? It looks like it will work for me. If not, then that's fine. I just wasted like a whole face of it. <laughs> Whoops. The other foundation I have is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer in Fair 2. And this one might be too light for me. I might have to go return it and get a darker shade. But you know, the top, so it comes with like a little flap at the top, which is the concealer. The concealer looks like a good shade, okay? Not gonna lie. But I'm not sure how I feel about the foundation itself. The foundation, you kind of like push down and then it comes out like that. Yeah, this is a little bit too light for me. Um, not even in the summer it will work for me. So I'll have to return this. I'll exchange it for another shade. Oops. Up next, I have the I have a Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. I got this from a BoxyCharm. And I'm going to use this right now because my hands are so chapped from washing my hands 24-7. After like changing baby's diaper, before touching baby and everything. So hopefully this will make my hands feel normal again. It smells like old lady. It smells like a gra it smells like grandma. You know how like grandma has that specific smell oh, I'm not gonna like that. Okay, this next thing here is also from boxycharm this is the adesi new york um, organic infused age defying nail treatment essentials this is perfect because i'm not working right now and if you guys have been watching me you guys know that i do work in a nail salon my nails are gross and this will really help kind of hydrate my nails while I am on maternity. These next two things here are the NYX Slip Tease Full Color Lip Oils. I have this one in the shade Beyond Basic. And then this red one here is Red Queen. And let's open this up and see what they look like. Ooh, okay, so this is what the wand looks like. It smells like paint. So this one right here is Slip Tease. This is a perfect classic red. And then, I thought it was gonna be like oil, like an oil, but it's not, it's like a liquid lipstick. This one right here is the brown one. I am horrible at swatching, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is the brown one. What is this one called? Beyond Basic. Alrighty, I'm going to finish this video off with four Anastasia liquid lipsticks and then I will continue with part two. Um, let me just show you what is left of the box. Just a little sneak peek. So this is what is left of the box. You guys will see what is in here in part two, which will be coming up next week, hopefully. So let's go on. So this first one right here is... Um, the shade Ashton. I actually got this one from Marshalls for $7.99 instead of like Sephora Ulta. And this is what Ashton looks like. It's just a perfect nude color. Nude brown. That's Ashton right there. To be honest with you guys, I have never tried any of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, so hopefully I like these ones. Okay, now this next one here, these next ones I got from the Anastasia website. 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 This one is Catherine. And Catherine is just a really pretty mauve berry color. So this is Catherine right there. And then I have American Doll 
which is a everyone's favorite. It's just a perfect classic red. And I've been wanting a red liquid lipstick, so. Oh, that is so pretty. So that is American Doll right there. That is a gorgeous color. Last one here is vintage. This is actually a lip gloss. And it is just a um, blush pink color with some gold reflexes in it. And, oh my god, that is so pretty. You can't really see the gold reflexes when you swatch it, but you can see it in the tube. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, if it's picking up or not. But this is vintage right here. Super duper duper pretty. Alright, so that is part one of my hoarding problem. Um, yeah, if you guys like this, let me know down below. And I would definitely be doing these like every six months or every few months. And hopefully it doesn't pile up like this where I have to do part one and part two for the next time. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video coming up. It's going to be super exciting. I can't wait to share with you guys what the series is going to be. And I really hope that you guys do like the series. And I hope you guys liked this video as well. Like always, let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see. And I will definitely make sure to do them for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hmm? What? You want your dinosaur squishy? On um, baby cat one. In a baby shark one? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you a baby shark one next time, but you gotta wait for your dinosaur squishies to come in the mail, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so he is into dinosaurs right now, and he wanted squishies that were dinosaur squishies, and we ordered some on Amazon for him and he's just like super eager to get it. He wants it like right now, like every hour he'll be like, where's my dinosaur squishy? Do you have my dinosaur squishies yet? And it's like, no, not yet, honey. <laughs> huh? It's okay, baby.